So while we continue to wait for the official announcement that Disney is going to be buying 21st Century Fox, of course, which was reported by originally CNBC and it's further been collaborated by many other news outlets, and most recently we heard that the deal could come as soon as next week, a few people have gone out there and started making comments about this. Now, of course, neither Fox nor Disney has issued any sort of statement, not even one that says nothing like that is going on, and they haven't even chose to kind of answer that big one or put out a big statement that says we have nothing to comment about, which typically indicates that something is definitely going on. But recently I talked about how Chris Evans actually kind of pokes fun and jabs at this whole deal and what he wants to see. Well, of course, Ryan Reynolds, AKA Deadpool, also had to chime in. And on the report by CNBC that says, breaking, Walt Disney Co. and 21st Century Fox closing a deal that could come as soon as next week, enterprise value of 21st Century Fox assets seen above 60 billion. Ryan Reynolds replies, time to uncork those explosive sexual tensions between Deadpool and Mickey Mouse. So jokingly, he comments about this and you gotta kind of find it funny, right? Um, you know, him, and of course Chris Evans, both funny guys, guys that like to go out there, and they're of course serious too, but they're known for a lot of stuff that they did that was comedic, both commenting on this, while nothing official is being said by either studio, which is pretty interesting, and just kind of makes you start thinking about stuff, and how far this is going to go. Now it really wouldn't surprise me if maybe one or two of these guys actually do know something, but we just aren't being included in the conversation, obviously, by anybody because, well, the value of this deal is absolutely huge. So, of course, you know, we, the audience, and of course, the trades are going to find out last. We actually further talk more about this on the upcoming Book the Ticket podcast, which is, of course, our movies podcast, which I suggest you guys should listen to if you guys want way more insight into how this deal might play out.